everyone, so today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I thought I would do a first impression on a skincare product. What is this? I thought I was bleeding, but it's liquid lipstick. Whew. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the first impression on this. This is the Eliza Becker Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. And I've seen like one or two little videos go around Facebook of people using it, and it looks really, really fun. So I'm gonna give it a go today on camera. The reason it's called a bubble clay mask is apparently it really does like bubble and foam up on your face, which sounds really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying it. So yeah, I hope I like it. I'm a massive face mask junkie. I have a lot of them. I use them every week. I just can't get enough So I really hope this one's a good one. So this is on the Mimi box website I'm just on there right now because they did a little review on it They say it's really good for scrubbing out oil and makeup. It is packed with charcoal powder um, It cleanses, exfoliates, unclogs pores and it bubbles as it cleans off dead skin cells and lifts pore clogging dirt and sebum It's powerful nutrients also replenish the skin softening and smoothing for a youthful glow. By the way I will list this makeup tutorial down below if you want to watch it. Oh my gosh, so it says you can use this on unclean skin So before you cleanse and you can use it as like a cleanser or you can apply it to clean dry skin as the last step Whatever you fancy. Okay, so it says you just put it on and after about five minutes the gooey clay will transform into frothy Foamy goodness. You would have seen me haul this by the way in my recent skincare and makeup Korean product haul. This is a Korean brand. I believe the writing is definitely Korean it's made in Korea, so there you go. <laughs> Let's dive into it. I'm going to wipe off my makeup and then I'm going to apply it and we're just going to sit on camera and see what happens. So I'm going to use a Tude House Wonder Pore Freshener. I've just started using this. I only used it once last night. So far so good, but I mean, when you just start using it, so I can't talk about it too much. It's the Ultra Pore Solution 10 in 1 and I'm just going to use this to cleanse off my foundation. I'm going to leave on my eye makeup because I'm going to take a thumbnail picture for this video, so I want my eye makeup to still look pretty. Obviously if I was just doing this at the end of the night I would remove all of my makeup first but for the sake of this video I'm gonna give you something pretty to look at. <laughs> first I'm just gonna use my pretty tie hair tie and tie up my hair and I'm gonna use my little bunny headband. <laughs> I'm just gonna take these earrings out. I have like foundation caked in my hair. <laughs> Ooh, that's not a good look. Okay, let's do this. So this is the first time I'm using it. As you can see, it's all done up still. It's got a little security seal on it. And it came in this little box. It's got a cute little pig on the front. <laughs> so you open it up and you have a little spatula that just kind of sits in here somewhere. It was just kind of floating. Don't put it too close to your nostrils, lips, or eyes as the product will begin to bubble up. Let me know if you guys enjoy this video as well and I can definitely do some more if I find more fun like skincare products. The texture is so weird. It's kind of like, you know, those bath jellies from Lush. Kind of reminds me of that. Like it's definitely a lot bouncier, like a kind of chocolate mousse texture rather than a clay mask, which is just like thick clay, you know? So it said use your clean hands or the little spatula to apply it. I don't really know how much I should be using. I can hear it, it's like popping. It sounds kind of like popping candy, but not as loud. It's like fizzing, like it kind of sounds like fizzy drink. <laughs> I feel like using your hands would definitely be a lot easier than using this little spatula. Oh, it feels really weird. It tickles, like it tickles bad. <laughs> Okay, this is so weird. It must just like react with your skin, like the temperature of your skin or something. It's so weird. I would normally put it down my neck a little bit as well, but I don't want to risk getting it on my top. I probably should have changed, but oh well. The texture of it's like really like thick and creamy. <laughs> this is weird. This is really weird. So it is still crackling away. It's only been on for like a minute or two. I wonder if it gets more foamy than this. It's so out of it. Oh my gosh, it's getting real foamy on my nose. Look at it. It tickles. Okay, it's starting to get close to my nostril. I'm just gonna wipe it away. <sighs> I don't like how it feels on my nose. It's so tickly. Ah, oh, I forgot to do a close up of my skin before this. 
Mm, so dumb. Just take my word for it. I have the worst like clogged pores on my nose right now and then anything else you would have been able to see from far away. My skin texture feels quite dry like down here on my face. Other than that it's pretty normal but yeah definitely a very clogged nose area so once I've rinsed it off I'll do close-ups of my skin and we can see how it looks because I'm sure you guys will be able to tell if it looks good or not. I definitely don't have great skin right now so that's why I'm doing a mask in the first place. I was waiting until my skin was playing up a bit to do this video. Okay it's still foaming. Sounds like bubble bath when you're like moving in the bath. It's like ch -ch -ch. it says here that this mask is suitable for almost all skin types, especially oily. However, those with sensitive skin should first test the product on a small area. Although the mask is effective as a one step makeup remover and pore cleaner, oh, I could have put it on top of my makeup. You can also use it after your normal cleansing routine for an extra deep cleaning and pore treatment. A little bit goes a long way. Use less than the recommended chestnut size amount if your face is on the small end because the product foams up. Keep the lid on the jar at all times when the product is not in use. Continued exposure to air can speed up oxidization. You get 100 grams in here and it says that the product is packed with star ingredients like charcoal powder, green tea, pomegranate extracts and collagen. The carbonation causes the mask to throff up once it's applied to the face and oxidizes with air. The bubbles help exfoliate dead skin cells and unclog pesky pores while delivering the nutrients deep into your skin. The effect is pure tighter pores and excessive sebum control that helps to fight against future clogging. Oh! <gasps> it's like I've grown a beard on my whole face. Can you see how thick this is? It doesn't tickle as much anymore now that it's like proper throffy. This is so weird. I want to show it to all my friends. <laughs> this is so cool. It feels really good. Oh, I should have put some on that pimple. When I like pop the bubbles, it like literally feels like they're like this high off my skin. Like they are pretty decently uh, bubbled. There's a lot of stuff going on on my face right now. Okay, so at this point, it kind of feels like these bubbles are about to drop off my face. Like they are so thick. I don't know if you can see like my actual face stop like <laughs> they are so deep. Oh my gosh. That, that's like a lot of bubbles. <laughs> this is so cool. They should make a kid friendly one like this. Like obviously, you know, children's skin does not need face masks, but they should do like a fake face mask for kids made out of this kind of stuff. It'd be so fun. Anyway, so it says then you can um, massage the bubbles. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to race off, rinse off my face over a sink and then I'll come back and show you what my skin looks like. Okay. Oh. It kind of feels like clay when you go like this. Like it turns it into like a clay. Ooh, I like it. That's, oh, that feels really good. That is awesome. Like it literally turns into a clay and it feels so thick and nice. I'll continue this over the sink. I'm just gonna massage it for a couple of minutes like this and then, yeah, I'll come back. How do I? I don't know how to stop the filming. I've got stuff everywhere. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Like, it was really easy to rinse off. At first, I started trying to rinse and massage it off just, like, with my fingers and water, and it wasn't budging like that. Like, it was just, like, swirling it around and kind of cleansing my skin. But as soon as I used a face cloth, it just wiped right off. It was really easy to get off. It didn't hurt or anything. You know sometimes how, like, a clay mask can be, like, quite difficult to get off your skin? This one wasn't, and I feel like it didn't really make my skin too red afterwards either. And the part that was really cool, like, okay, so obviously the mask is this kind of grayish color so that was rinsing down the sink that color but also I saw so much like yellowy orange which I'm assuming is leftover makeup on my actual skin like when I was rinsing my face I saw all of this foundation go down the sink as well so it was kind of like mixed in with this so I think it really did do a really good job of cleansing my skin and when I touch my face right now it feels so soft even on my nose like it feels so smooth like no bumps at all this morning like when I was just washing my face I noticed that my skin felt really Really bumpy over my nose I get a lot of dead skin like on this area and like down here is quite bumpy usually and honestly like my skin feels like a baby's butt it's so soft I'm like already in love with it like seriously this is so cool so I'm gonna show you a close-up of my skin now and then I'll follow up and do the rest of my skincare cuz yeah it's 2 p.m. but 
but I'm just gonna put on some skincare anyway. So you probably won't be able to tell, but this area of my face looks a lot cleaner. You can definitely still see some like blackheads and stuff in my nose just here, but there was definitely a significantly a larger amount of them before. And as I said, in general, like this area just feels soft, like I can't actually feel them anymore. Like it feels smooth and clean. This area, it's like literally made my pores vanish. I can't see any pores in this area. Like it just looks so soft and smooth and same on my forehead like I had a few bumps and lumps and dry skin up here and it seems to have faded it a lot. This pimple I had before, it doesn't seem to have irritated it but it also hasn't like made it shrink or anything like that so it's not particularly good I guess at like existing pimples and like minimizing them or anything like it still looks big and swollen. And down here I've got one too and that seems to still be doing its thing, it hasn't vanished so I'll probably stick to a normal clay mask on any acne or when I want to like decrease my acne this one doesn't really work for that it's more for like cleaning out your pores and softening your skin and just deep cleaning this gives me a very similar effect to my glam glow pear it's called the clay to oil mask or something like that the green one it gives a very similar outcome to my skin like it makes it feel very soft I feel like the glam glow one is a little bit more moisturizing though so I can see why this one's probably better for like oily skin because it really does make sure that there's nothing left on your face whereas the glam glow one does leave your face feeling a little bit oily which is good for me because I have dry skin normal skin anyway so I give it a thumbs up needless to say I'm really happy with it I really like it at the moment my skin feels a little bit dehydrated though so I'm going to follow up with some toner and moisturizer this toner here is the Eisenberg Paris one it's the lotion Purifint. been using this one like a lot lately I really like it because it doesn't dry on my skin and it kind of helps with like acne and stuff I find obviously I will remove my eye makeup soon I should have just done it before but I didn't think and then for moisturizer today I picked out my oxygen hydrating at night cream this is the evening primrose vitamin e and organic hops one obviously it's not evening time but when i'm not wearing makeup sometimes i just like to use this anyway because it gives a really good boost of hydration and yeah my skin feels quite dehydrated after the mask i feel like it's not the best for moisturizing at all if you have super dry skin i don't know if it would be very comfortable for you because yeah like my skin wasn't feeling this dehydrated beforehand but with a quick fix of moisturizer i should be fine i like to use heaps and just like really lather it on put it down my neck as well i feel like my skin looks clean too let me know if you guys have tried this face mask and if you have tried it let us know your review in the comments down below i would love to see what you guys think of it as well this video isn't sponsored by the way i bought this with my own money it is so cool i think it's such a cool idea it's kind of like a novelty but i can kind of see how it would work as well you know anyway i'm gonna go now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already i do upload three beauty videos every single week Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays New Zealand time. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. I'll link these down below or if you're on a computer you can click the screen. The video on the left is my birthday get ready with me and the video on the right is a Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup video using her Too Faced palette and it's really fun and colourful and I did bright blue lips as well. So I hope you guys enjoy them both.